I think it's finally time I move out of my hole in the wall and build myself a proper home. Still in the same area, but I would quite like something with all four walls, <laughs> less open to the elements. Recently got some cherry logs, so we should be good to start building, but the sun is setting, so maybe I should get a good night's sleep and then we can start placing some blocks. Okay, now, do I want to build it in the exact same place or slightly off to the side? It's only going to be a very small house, nothing too large, but I think somewhere around here should be good. I kind of want to stay in the same location. I like the view of the mountain. I'm just trying to see if there's anywhere that's a little bit flatter. Maybe even down here could be quite nice. Let's, let's have a look, see what it looks like from this point. We are slightly closer to the mountain, it's less foggy from this point of view. But we're not in the trees as much, and I'm not sure if I like that. I think I'm gonna stay up here. It's gonna be a little bit more tricky to build because there's petals and different leveled grass everywhere, but I like having all of the all the falling leaves and the bees buzzing around. It's just a bit of a better atmosphere up here. So let's start just placing some blocks. We'll, we'll begin with some cherry logs. As I said, it's only going to be a very small house. So I guess maybe I should actually just build up here. I know this is a little bit strange. Tell you what, no. Let's let's go down to the bottom. We'll just we'll just get rid of the the petals that are all around. Gonna have to probably place some other blocks around to fill in the empty gaps. But for now, we'll just we'll just come up with a shape to begin with. I'm thinking just five by six. Does that seem about the right size? I've got very limited resources, so there's only so much I can really do here. There we go. That seems like it's going to be a pretty good size. I think that tree is going to get slightly in the way, but I'll worry about that later. Question is, do I have any dirt? I've got nine blocks. That's probably not enough, but I'll see if I can just try and cover up this cobblestone a little bit. I need a couple more. <laughs> Running a little bit short. One there and one more. There we go. Hopefully that should start spreading into grass and we can get it all looking the same. So it is going to be a very small interior, but I think that's fine, honestly. Okay, let's craft some of these logs into planks, shall we? Maybe keep a few of them for strip logs, actually. Let's go do that first. Let's maybe just on the corners we can go three high. Not looking to do anything special here, keeping it very, very basic. There we go, we can get some nice pink stripped ones on the corners. I can tell you now I'm gonna have to go chop another cherry tree down. <laughs> six planks, or six logs I should say, is probably not gonna be enough, but see what we can do with it. I think maybe the doorway could go just on this spot. Of course this is gonna be the front of the house. And then maybe we'll have a window kind of like here.
Tell you what, I do actually want to craft a couple of stairs. That way, I can have a little bit of depth added in above the window and the doorway. There we go, okay, it's looking alright so far. Just fill in that little gap there, and for now, that's the front side done. Gonna have to get some glass at some point, I guess. Hopefully there's some sand nearby. I'm sure I'll find some. Okay, I think before we go any further, this tree has got to go. I also do need more cherry logs, so it's a bit of a win-win, really. Is that all of them, or is there? No, there's one more up here. Oh, there's another one up here. I'll try not to leave any floating trees behind, although that does connect right there. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. You know what, the bit that's in the way should go ahead and despawn, so we'll leave it as there for now, and I've got some more logs that I can use for the building. Let's make a few more stairs. That's not how you craft them. I think around this side we'll maybe go with a bit of a bigger window. Too high this time. Okay, the leaves are still really in the way. <laughs> they might actually be connected to the logs that I've got placed down, so... Let's just chop a few of them away and that should hopefully sort the problem out. I think over here on this side I would maybe like an outdoor chimney possibly which would cover up most of this. So for now, subject to change but let's just fill that in totally. Now what to do round the back? We're working with even numbers here, so maybe we'll just have a two wide window in the middle. Something like that. Yeah, I think that could work. Okay, now what I would actually like to do is replace these log blocks for wood blocks. So we don't have to see that top texture. But it still looks the same from the outside. Yeah, that's way nicer. Are these leaves despawning? I'm beginning to think I left the log in there somewhere. I did. <laughs> okay, now they should start to disperse. We got another log over here that I'm gonna have to turn into a wood block. There we go. Now I don't have an awful lot of supplies really. My main two materials our cherry wood and cobblestone. We do have a little bit of oak, but I might save that for the interior. So I guess our roof is gonna have to be cobblestone. <laughs> Maybe not my personal favorite choice, but it'll do for now. See, I've made a house that I can't really get on top of. Can I make this jump? No. <laughs> Tell you what, just for now, we'll craft some ladders. And I will do just that. <laughs> there we are. Now we can get back up. I 
think we'll try and keep the roof shape pretty low. I don't want to go too high with it. My ladders are in the way. Let's break a couple of them. Okay, so we got some stairs. I think if we can maybe go into slabs and just kind of work our way up to the middle. Like that, maybe? Must be one more on the top. How does that look from the outside? Can't get up anymore. Gonna have to do another jump slash ladder. But yeah, I think I like that. Need another plank in the middle, but that's fine. And I can hop on top. I am, however, out of cobblestone, which is a little bit of a problem because I want to fill my roof in with it. So the sun is setting. Let's ha let's have another nap and then go dig some cobblestone in the morning. And you know what? We may as well just dig out this area behind my bed. I'll probably get rid of this area once my house is all built, so it doesn't hurt to just expand the hole for now, make it a little bit ugly. It's fine. one at the moment. Let's get a handful more and maybe that'll be enough. Let's have a look. So I think we'll stick with cobblestone all the way through. I could technically smelt this into some smooth stone, maybe make some stone bricks, but I don't really have the coal supplies for that either. So this is going to have to do. Need some more slabs. I crafted all these stairs and I didn't actually need any more. I'm sure I'll make use of them at some point. There we go, okay. Starting to look like an actual house now. It's just missing some details, I think. I'll tell you what, let's have a little bit of a break from building and see if we can go dig some sand, assuming I don't already have some, which I believe I don't. No, none. And we need some to make some glass for some windows, so let's maybe head down to the river or something, which is over this side. Let's see if we can snag some sand. I would also quite like some other stone block like diorite, andesite, or granite. Any of the three, honestly, for my chimney that I want to build. I could use bricks, but then I got to get the clay and that's going to take a little while. Okay, I see a couple of patches of sand. I don't need much. Honestly, eight would probably be fine. I only have three windows, I believe. Yeah, so yeah, eight should be fine. If we can craft into panes, that'll do us nicely. Try not to leave the water a mess over here. Fill it back in. There we go, eight sand. Am 
might just have a look over this way, see if I can see any of those stone blocks. I can see some gravel. That is not much help. It's not looking good. Unless I'm being totally oblivious, which is a definite possibility. Careful of the lava. Might just have to find a cave at some point and head on inside. Okay, we've strayed a bit far. Let's head back and continue building. see a little cave opening over there that might possibly have something doesn't look like it though but it may end up actually going down into a cave so let's have a quick look no <laughs> stone through and through I'm afraid I already checked down here, didn't I? That's where I nearly died to that skeleton. Do I remember seeing any diorite of any kind? Some dripstone. Can't really make slabs and stairs out of that though, so it's not exactly what I'm looking for. And that looks far too perilous for me to go down without any torches. And bad things happened last time I went down there. You know what? Let's leave it for now. It's only a chimney. It's not going to make or break the house. It'll still look nice without it. We can always go and get it another time. Oh yeah, that looks much more homely. Coming back to something like this rather than just a hole in the wall. <laughs> much nicer. Okay, right, before we start placing more blocks, let's go ahead and slap our sand in the furnace. Get that cooking up into some glass. And I think the next step is maybe just to shape the terrain a little bit more at the front. I don't like the steep drop off actually, so let's head somewhere else away from the house and just harvest a little bit of dirt. Where's a good spot that looks like it has too much dirt? This over here should do nicely. I like to try and leave the terrain looking reasonably nice if I ever have to do something like this. At least it'll grow back and turn into grass once again and it won't look like I've taken a bunch of dirt. Even though that's exactly what I've done. Alright, this should be enough to shape our terrain a little bit better. Can smooth that drop off slightly. So I got a bit more room to stand on when I actually walk out my door. That would be ideal. 
And this grass has already grown, so hopefully shouldn't be too much longer until this dirt grows back. Yeah, okay, that's that's better. And it's a bit cramped around the back here, so maybe let's just break some of these blocks away. There we are, a little bit more room for movement. And our glass is done, look at that. Perfect timing. 16 glass panes, yeah, that is plenty. Okay, so we need two round the back, two on the side, and then one at the front. We do need a doorway. Maybe let's craft ourselves a doorway before we do anything else. And once again, due to my lack of supplies, it's gonna have to be a cherry door. But it's fine. We're in the cherry blossom biome. It makes sense to have a cherry house. There we go. Now it's officially a home. Still not done though yet. There's a couple extra things I want to add. Which do require me to craft some trap doors. I'm nearly out of cherry logs again. But I have enough. Let's just craft some of that. Maybe we'll get ourselves eight. That should cover me. And then I think round the back here. I would ideally like coarse dirt, but I don't think I have any gravel. We're going to make a little bit of a flower bed. Then we can grab some of these petals here and plant them on. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, <laughs> had the flowers in my hand. I think the bee really wanted them. Okay, there's just one more thing I know I definitely want to do, and that is something about the roof. It looks like it's not being supported enough. So what I'm going to do is craft some cobblestone walls. Oh man, suddenly it's nighttime again. Okay, hold that thought. As I was doing, let's craft some fences too. Man, supplies are really dwindling. Thankfully, it's a small house. Okay. I think we just need to add some pillared supports to look as though this house is actually being held up by something. So if out the front we just do this, how does that look? Yeah, okay, that makes it seem a bit more structurally sound. I like it. Do the same round the back as well. There we go, this is really coming together. I think this side is fine, it probably doesn't need much else. The front, I think the front is missing something. It would be nice to have a torch actually, just to kind of light up the entranceway. So, do I still have some trap doors? I do. Okay, how about we make a little bit of a table here and do I have any iron I would really like to craft a lantern they just look a little bit better than a torch okay this may be a waste of iron considering I only have five ingots in total but I'd say it's a good use because we can craft a lantern and stick it on our table here and that just really makes it feel like a cozy home as opposed to just a regular home.